Strong or what? Can I put 30 kilos on my bench? Instantly. Instantly. I can't snap, but if I could snap, I'd go full Thanos, okay? Okay. 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 Let's see it. I'll take it. I'm ready. Oh, wait. It's under here. But... Secret. <laughs> Black label. Let's see it. <sighs> Let me smell it first. Smells like dirt. <laughs> no, it smells like hot <laughs> shampoo. Well, it's definitely not for consumption. Consumption? No, we'll find out. Here's your hot shampoo. Let's go. Let's go. One shot. One shot. <laughs> Put too much water. Roydiola. <laughs> Welcome to Channel Train True. A lot of you ask, well, some of you ask, uh, what kind of supplements do I take and should you take? And, uh, you know, my pre workout, a lot of people have seen it. It has like 20 different ingredients. Uh, what goes in there? So first, I'll keep it simple. Uh, if you want to work out, a lot of people like to take something called, uh, you know, pre-workout. This is just one of them. Uh, uh, I'm not sponsored or anything by them, but this is a pretty nice brand. Nutricost. It's pretty cheap. It's simple. As you can see, the label, nothing fancy. Ingredients are pretty good. Uh, always look at the ingredients on the back. That's the most important. So for pre-workout, uh, number one important thing is, for me, caffeine, you know, caffeine level. So for me, uh, I don't drink coffee uh, throughout the day. I don't drink any other energy drinks. I save all my caffeine for my pre-workout. So I like to have around 300, Sambek, Sambek, right? That's, that's correct, yeah. To 400, Sambek, milligrams of caffeine. Uh, before I work out sometimes up to 500 you know if I'm really tired but I don't think you should ever go past 500 uh, especially if you drink coffee and other drinks like then you're just gonna have too much caffeine per day like if you have one uh, thousand milligrams or one gram of caffeine in a day that's that's probably too much and it's probably not good for your body in the long run so three to five hundred milligrams that's the most important uh, other than that uh, some people like to have creatine in their pre-workout. Um, it doesn't have to be in your pre-workout though. So if your pre-workout already contains creatine, about 5 grams, that's good. But if you have it uh, not in your pre-workout, just normally in your protein shake, 5 milligrams, or sorry, 5 grams is it? Uh, per day uh, is good enough. Doesn't matter timing. You can have it before sleeping, in the morning, doesn't matter. Okay. Uh, the next thing that's important for me is protein. Like uh, a lot of people ask why I put protein in my pre-workout drink. And the reason is uh, I don't like to eat before working out. I, I like working on a kind of empty stomach, not completely empty, but mostly empty stomach. So I like to put a very fast digesting protein into my pre-workout. Uh, the fastest digesting protein is uh, whey, but it's also 
hydrolyzed whey. It's a little bit more expensive version of whey. It's already like pre-digested, so uh, your stomach doesn't have to spend a lot of energy or time digesting. It gets into your bloodstream very quickly. So I put about one or two scoops of hydro whey into my pre-workout because I want to make sure there's protein in my blood uh, as I'm exercising too. That way my recovery uh, begins immediately. You know, so a lot of people who work out fasted completely, no food at all, uh, you don't have protein in your blood so your recovery is delayed and that means you have to hurry like right after you're done working out then you have to have your protein as soon as possible. But if you have your protein in your pre-workout, you don't have to worry. Like you could wait three, four hours still in your blood yeah, and then have your protein later, dinner, whatever. Uh, the other important thing for pre-workout is uh, citrulline malate. Uh, some people just call it citrulline. Uh, some people prefer arginine. Uh, it doesn't really matter, but citrulline is usually the better version of arginine in terms of how your body uses it to get a pump. And science shows citrulline does help with the pump and recovery and blood flow. So that's probably pretty good. Uh, I would recommend at least 6 grams to 8 grams. Most pre-workouts contain very little, like only like 3 or 4 grams, it's not enough. Uh, so for example, this one contains 6 grams, that's pretty good. Uh, some really good ones, more expensive ones, contain 8 grams. Uh, people say 8 grams is like the best amount to get a great pump, good workout. And then honestly, everything else, everything else is kind of like, you don't have to have it. It's good. For example, like uh, beta alanine. It's not that important for power lifters because beta alanine helps you with very high reps, very long sets. And you know, power lifters, we don't do cardio. We do like three reps and then we're dying already. You know, five reps is crazy for us. 10 reps is like, you know, we're gonna have a heart attack. So beta alanine, uh, it's not that important. But the reason I like it is and I'm a little like, you know, a little weird. You guys know the word pyonte? Yeah, it's a little, little me. I like that tingling feeling in my face. You know, like when you take beta alanine, you get like these needles in your face. I like that feeling. Other people, they hate it, but I like it. I feel awake, I feel energetic. So that's why I take it. But I never do cardio, so it doesn't really help me with the actual performance. Yeah, everything else is like, ah, eh, whatever. You know, L-theanine. Uh, the only reason people like that is that it helps balance the feeling of caffeine. It feels not like up and down so much, but whatever, it's not that important. Uh, yeah, and everything else in here is minor. So if I had to recommend one other thing though, uh, I would recommend uh, electrolytes. Right? I sweat a lot when I exercise, so I'm sweating a lot of sodium, potassium, magnesium, uh, calcium not as important, so I like to put powdered electrolytes into my pre-workout and even when I'm working out, intra-workout. So salt or sodium, uh, those of you who sweat a lot, even if you don't sweat a lot, it's good to take some salt uh, before working out. Uh, potassium as well, magnesium, yeah those three. So sodium first, then potassium, magnesium, uh, it does help performance and recovery. Uh, other than that, of course, taking carbohydrates uh, before and during workout, a uh, very quick digesting one. So I just like to order a pododang, just a powder, and I like to put about uh, 30 uh, grams of pododang or glucose into my pre-workout. And then I like to have another 30 while I'm working out. But it depends on you. You know, if you already ate something, you know, just a couple hours before, you don't need to do that. But if you're on an empty stomach, uh, it's probably good to have a little protein, a little carbs, electrolytes, uh, caffeine. Uh, those are the most important things. Okay, I think that's good enough. Can you handle that amount of subtitles? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Yeah. Uh, if you want like the, the, the super secret pre-workout stuff, you guys know. You already know. Only face. Yeah, 
도전. 사장님. Not enough rhodiola. <웃음> <웃음>